Welcome dear learners. Today we are going to discuss about the man-made or anthropogenic disaster that is the transportation disaster. So as per United Nations Organization 2010 report, transportation hazards and disasters are expected to claim more human lives than uh, AIDS or HIV by 2020 AD. So this was the report in 2010 and uh, up to the 2020 uh, they have said that it has claimed more lives as compared to other deadly diseases that are spread all over the world. So since uh, the means of transportation like vehicles on the roads, passengers or freight trains Basically, freight trains are those, those trains which are used to carry the commodities, goods uh, from one place to another place, basically from the industrial areas to the consumers. Uh, tracks or rails, ships in seas or rivers or aircrafts in air, and uh, which are operated or handled by the humans. And hence, there is very likely chance that uh, there will be a uh, kind of uh, hazard or accident to occur that would claim the human lives and, uh, and destroy the property, basically resulting in huge economic and financial losses. Uh, for example, uh, when we uh, discuss about the road accidents, basically when there is a collision between two vehicles, Every day there are collision between the bikes, uh, vehicles. So most of all the vehicles are insured. So it uh, gets a very high loss uh, to the insurers, insurance company. So this is kind of uh, the damage or financial loss because of the accidents. <clears throat> so on an average, there are transportation accidents almost every day particularly uh, if we are talking about the Kashmir, we have um, every day there are road accidents basically on the uh, national highways or uh, the other roads. And uh, But these events are underreported and the exact figure is not available. So how many casualties or economic losses or financial losses uh, happen due to such kind of uh, disasters that is transportation disaster so we don't have the exact figure of the human losses or economic loss or financial losses because of such things but as per united nations there is an estimated report based on the uh, increase of the transportation hazards Moreover, most of the data uh, related to different aspects of transportation hazards and disaster are estimated by different agencies. <clears throat> this is why transportation disaster data from different sources are not compatible. So there is a variation between the data. So basically, uh, the transportation disasters have been uh, classified into major uh, groups based on the means of transportation. For example, the commonly used means of transportation that is roads. So there is road accidents or traffic collision disasters. The second, uh, a bit faster than this is the rail disaster in which the railway tracks are used for carrying the passenger trains or freight trains from one place to another place. So these result in real disasters and uh, aviation disasters and or aviation accident, accident disaster in which the passenger planes or uh, fighter jets or cargo, uh, cargo planes, they get accident and uh, this result in the aviation disaster. And uh, last one is maritime accident disaster. It may be because of the peacetime ships disaster or war time ships, submarines. So these all incur the types of the transportation disaster. And we will be discussing all these disasters one by one. So in general, when we are 
discussing the four types of the transportation disaster first of all we should know what are the various kinds of the factors or the causes that leads to the transportation disaster so it may be pointed out that the land based transportation accidents that is roads accident or rails accident are more common and frequent than aviation and maritime disaster you can see uh, we are not uh, uh, listening the news or we, uh, we we didn't get the news every day that the, there is any uh, uh, airplane accident or some kind of thing but we are hearing more or less every day about the road accidents as regards the causes and triggers of the transportation accidents disaster there may be certain factors uh, that are common in all types of the transportation disasters so the basically the causes of the transportation disaster may be categorized into two factors first is natural factors so in natural factors for example first of all there may be the nature uh, the extent may be happen because of the nature of the surface conditions and media such as land surface water surface or air corridor so sometimes the roads are slippery because of some uh, weather conditions maybe it is snow or rain or it's kind of a frost so definitely the surface is a little bit slippery another one is the weather conditions uh, such as uh, the atmospheric storms like hurricanes cyclones typhoon tornadoes and uh, hail storms are there dust storms are there snow storms lightning humidity precipitation like maybe rainfall or snowfall sometimes the visibility factors like fogs are there frost as which i discussed earlier that makes the surface slippery so these all weather elements may lead to the uh, transportation disaster because it reduces the visibility and uh, it also makes the surface a bit slippery and then it uh, leads to a, a disaster the second one is the anthropogenic or human factors that mostly are the causes of the road accidents or rail accidents or aviation or maritime first one is the technical and mechanical defects sometimes there is a brake failure or something or there is a mechanical or technical defects of the vehicle that leads to the disaster sometimes in transit failure right brake failures engine failures and sometimes uh, other functions of the vehicles or locomotives are not working very well sometimes human error because the calculation uh, when uh, some vehicle is approaching uh, from the backward or uh, from the front so sometimes the driver's calculation is not good how to take over the vehicle or something as in that can lead to the disaster and sometimes there are the health and mental issues of the operators uh, such as for example if uh, the driver is uh, driving the vehicle for a long period of time and uh, he is still driving uh, without taking any rest so there is a fatigue or he or she is ill or intoxication like he's drunk or having any kind of uh, the substance abuse and uh, he's driving at the time mental tension stresses or psychological problems these all can also lead to the uh, transportation disaster and last one whenever we are going uh, using the transportation vehicles uh, on the daily basis the maintenance is very important so if we are not maintaining the or transportation vehicles like roads or over vehicles then definitely that leads to the uh, transportation disasters so these were the general causes of all the four uh, transportation disasters so now first we will be discussing about the road accidents so road accidents are most common of all the transportation accidents and disasters because of largest road lengths and uh, the largest road networks and longest number of vehicles that are traveling uh, on the daily basis maybe it is the commercial or passenger vehicles 
so sometimes road accidents are also called traffic collision accidents and uh, if we consider all the means of roads and uh, rail transportation like trucks buses cars jeeps tractors trolleys three vehicle uh, wheeler uh, three wheelers or two wheelers like scooters motorcycles or simply bikes the probability of road accident of different types of vehicles is highest basically and it is uh, also very likely that the smaller the size of the vehicle the greater the chance of the road accident that we see uh, in case of motorcycles basically two uh, uh, wheelers and uh, this also comes true in the case of motorcycle accident in developing countries and generally in India and uh, in India in particular because where the there is a population and the roads are uh, always congested because of the vehicles uh, almost all the uh, household have some kind of vehicle maybe a two-wheeler or three-wheeler or four-wheeler and uh, it also may be mentioned that the bikes are mostly used by teenager and youth this is why frequency and number of road accidents but uh, by the bikes are highest in the world hundreds of accidents and deaths of the bikers occur on daily in India so the basically the kind of collision which happens uh, because of the vehicles may be different types like head-on collision when two vehicles are approaching uh, head to head that is, that is called head-on collision second one is rear end when some vehicle is approaching at the rear end at the back side and uh, the vehicle hits another vehicle that it's called a rear end collision sometime uh, from the side can approach that will be called a side collision and sometime rollover where the vehicle rollers uh, in most in most of the bollywood movies it's shown that uh, the vehicles are rolling over uh, and they're kind of uh, any um, I mean, I mean, there is a, some kind of uh, two groups having the fight. So that is the best example of rollovers. So the vehicle collisions uh, have been named differently in different uh, countries. Like by WHO, the vehicle collision is called road traffic injury. And uh, at the same time, U.S. Census Bureau uh, called it motor vehicle accident. And in Canada, it's called motor vehicle traffic collision and the types of the road accidents may be auto accident car accident car crash car smash car wreck or motor vehicle collisions so there the factors which i have enlisted earlier so there are many factors that for example there is a driver impairment because of the old age factor or whether uh, the driver is youth or old person Sometimes the consumption of alcohol or substances which lead to the intoxication that also lead to the road accidents. Sometimes driver behavior, they are rush drivers and they drive very fast. And visual and uh, auditory uh, os osity. Psychological status, sometimes they are cannot see the clearly or cannot hear clearly. Sometimes they have psychological uh, problems. Decision-making ability is also important. Reaction speed that we call the reflex action. Fatigue and drowsiness. These are the all human factors. So when we go for the mechanical uh, or technical factors, some, sometimes it has uh, depends upon the vehicle design. Some vehicles can easily get accident. Uh, because of the high speed uh, which are lighter so sometimes brake failure happens there sometimes engine failures happen there sometimes vehicle maintenance or fuel conditions and sometimes road designs in India the road designs are also important so straight roads have less accidents than the curved roads more curved roads sharpen than uh, short distance that can lead to more accident nature of material that is used for the uh, construction of roads like road dressing which is very common in Kashmir also and India in India also nature of road surfaces like potholes are there so definitely that can lead to an accident then speed also when there is speed very high then definitely it can cause accidents and other factors are natural factors like weather atmospheric condition humidity frost fog hailstorm these are all the 
factors that can lead to the uh, accidents. So, now the rail accidents. Um, rail accidents depend upon several factors such as the length and density of the railway network. When the density is more, there likely more accidents uh, could happen because of the rail collisions. Then the life of rail coaches and rails, uh, if they are not, um, I mean, the weeded out from the uh, railway tracks, old coaches that are very likely to get accidents or uh, um, they can uh, <clears throat> move out of the railway tracks and that can lead to the uh, road, uh, rail accidents. Then maintenance of rail uh, way tracks, locomotives, rail coaches, wagon freight trains, signaling system. These are various uh, the factors which can lead to the rail accidents. Visibility factors, technologies, uh, driver skills and uh, training, driver error, reaction speed of reflex action intoxication fatigue health and status of the drivers basically these all are the very much common uh, factors that lead to the rail accidents but uh, the modern technology play a vital role in efficient operation of high speed electric uh, trains like we have the metro trains in metropolitan uh, cities uh, which are equipped with the up-to-date local modules uh, with electronic and computer facilities like in Japan, China, France, like also we have uh, in India, in New Delhi, there is a metro train. It's very efficient. And uh, in Japan, we have the bullet trains. In China, we also have the bullet trains, uh, which are operating at very high speed. Uh, and uh, the rail accidents may be of two types, for example. Uh, when we uh, are uh, discussing about the road accidents, railway accidents are also of uh, many types. For example, head-on collision. When two trains collide head-to-head, -head, when two trains are approaching each other in opposite direction, then collision of two trains, uh, one is standing and another is running. So that is because of the human error. And rear-end collision, when the other train comes from the back, and a derailment accidents when because of the certain reasons or uh, mechanical defects or uh, rail fractures uh, the railway coaches get derailed from the rails uh, or because of the high speed this also can happen uh, sometimes the derailment also accidents may be caused by the extremist or terrorist attacks or sabotage or mining M many reasons could be there or train blasters can be used technical failures, disruption in the power supply, and rail vehicle collision or crash accident at the unmanned railway level crossing. When there is a railway crossing and sometime when there is no control. So severe rail accidents result in heavy toll of human casualties, a huge loss of property like economic and financial losses. And uh, besides uh, severe injuries make it victims physically and mentally handicapped so these are the some of the facts about the real accidents now moving to the uh, another type of uh, the disaster that is the aviation disaster though the probability of the aviation uh, accidents is the lowest of all types of transportation accidents and disaster but in the event of an uh, aviation accident there are least uh, survival chances because the aeroplane when it crashes uh, from in the air then when it uh, crashes on the surface there are least chances that the persons traveling that aircraft may survive so basically uh, the convention of international civil aviation uh, has defined the aviation accident as an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft which takes place between the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until such time as all such persons have disembarked where a person is fatally or severe, uh, seriously injured 
the aircraft sustains damage, uh, structural failure, or the aircraft is missing or incompletely accessible. So we, uh, in recent past, we have seen that like MH370, the Malaysian Airlines that have been completely uh, inaccessible. They are searching for the years, but there was no trace of that airplane where it went. So sometimes the persons on the board which uh, die because of certain fatality and get serious injuries, uh, there is a structural damage in the aircraft. So this is a standard definition as per the Convention of International Civil Aviation. So, but there are certain causes that can lead to the uh, aviation disaster. First one is pilot's error. Sometimes pilot is not enough confident or sometimes they have the decision, less decision making ability. Sometimes there are brake failures, uh, the gear failures are there in airplane. So that time uh, the pilot has to decide to do the standard operation procedures to do what the guidelines have to say. Sometimes there is fuel tank explosion in the air and sometimes there is mid-air collision because sometimes uh, the another aeroplane is approaching and then in the air it happens. So basically the controlling tower on the ground have such kind of work. They always guide the airplane uh, uh, which route, which altitude they have to fly. Then uncontrolled decompression. Sometimes the decompression uh, pressure gets low and uh, this also can lead to the av aviation disaster than aircraft structural failure. Uh, most of the aircraft sometimes of the certain companies they get uh, they get uh, structural failure and they get crashed. Uh, it is case in the case of aircrafts or helicopters uh, we have seen in the recent past. Sometime when the aircraft is taking off or that is uh, landing, sometime airstrip accidents can also happen. Or uh, there is uh, a shooting down of the aeroplanes because of the missiles. Uh, we can see uh, uh, in uh, some in some countries where there is a uh, no fly zone. Sometimes the our aircraft are targeted by the missiles. So these all leads to the aviation disasters. Now the maritime disaster. So here the maritime uh, transportation uh, accidents, they are basically confined to the cargo and ferry ships. Cargo ships are basically that are used to carry the commodities from one country to another country. And the ferry ships are used for the, I mean, they are used to carry the persons uh, from one place to another place, basically for the transportation, for short distance transport. For example, uh, uh, from uh, <clears throat> one end to another end of a river or lake or big sea. So these are the uh, mainly the accidents happen in such kind of the most of the travel uh, happens now by air by aviation and the less travel happens uh, by these ships. So maritime accidents of ferry ships and cargo ships, oil tankers and trawlers uh, can be because of the human that can lead to the uh, human casualties, economic losses, or environmental pollution. Because when we carry the uh, the when we carry the uh, oils from one country to another country, sometimes there is uh, the leaking of the oil tankers, and that creates the environmental pollution uh, through oil slicks and the death of uh, marine organisms. And uh, the mm, various causes of the uh, sorry, various causes of uh, the maritime disasters uh, may be because of uh, the collision of two ships, either two passenger ships or two cargo ships or two oil tankers or between the passenger ships or cargo ships. It may be the collision between the passenger or ferry tankers, uh, and it can also happen because the blast explosives or technical or structural failure, collision with the reefs, collision with the icebergs, uh, like the Titanic, 
on the 14th of April 1912 happens because it collides with the iceberg. Atmospheric storms can be there because of hurricanes, typhoons that happen in case of sinking of Japanese passenger ferry in Toyo Moro due to typhoon on 29th May 1954. That is an example. Or because of fire, uh, as happened in the United States, uh, General Skull Slocum, which caught fire and sank in New York, uh, East River on 15th June 1904. Sometimes it is a mariner's error, which basically uh, maintains or uh, handles the ship. Sometimes it is because of the terrorist attacks and uh, sometimes it is the pirates. Pirates are the who loot, uh, who, who loots the, I mean, the cargo ships or ferry ships. So this pirates uh, is most common uh, in the areas where there is very, I mean, like the Somalian pirates, they are very famous. So this was all about the transportation hazard or disaster. I hope you all enjoyed watching this lecture. Thank you.